Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And I'd like to spend, send rather, a special message to my friend Boston Chicky, who is unwell with COVID, and I, you know. Boston Chicky, Andrea, Boston Chicky, he's one of uh, someone that's been listening to me for over 10 years, someone that I'm friends with and um, she's been very supportive to me over the years. So I'm sending all my love to you, Boston, and I really hope that you and everybody else that is... Uh, being affected by the coronavirus, whether it be physically through having the illness or dealing with the aftermath or of someone else having had the, the illness or maybe yourself even, the aftermath of that or all the other aspects of this terrible illness so I hope uh, actually I know I know that we're going to get through it we have to Um, so I'm sending my love out to all of you and maybe you can sort of send some of that love towards Boston Chicky who's currently very unwell so, I'm going to get on with the recording. And maybe these types of relaxation, sleep recordings are really useful. Not just for those of you that perhaps you know in the past or more recently have had issues with getting to sleep but also an opportunity to calm your mind to relax your body to just let go for a period of time this recording may last for maybe 20 or 30 minutes but there will also be another version with added background music from Kevin MacLeod and his details will be in the description box So, you can listen for longer if you choose. You may just want to listen for relaxing, just to relax. And you may have things to do in an hour's time. So, I suggest you set an alarm, but not something to, you know, not something that's going to frighten you awake. You want something gentle. Almost like, hey, it's, it's time time to get up. Because even if you're not asleep, you know, fast asleep, there's, there's a level of relaxation that is practically identical 
to sleep. In some ways, the... In some ways, it's the benefit of not of not actually being asleep when you're deeply relaxed is because you can enjoy feeling deeply relaxed. So whether you're sitting in a comfortable chair that supports your body, or if you're lying down on a on your bed, you know I like that sense of just lying there and I did it recently literally a couple, couple of hours ago I was vacuuming and cleaning the carpet and at the end of it my lower back was very very painful because I have lower back problems it's so the only thing I can do in that situation really physically uh, for my body is to lie down on the bed for maybe 10 minutes and at the end it's fine my back's fine again now Andre was on the bed with me Andre the ferret my beautiful little boy and he was cuddling up to my hand so I ended up lying there and really instead of I mean I lied down to get relaxed but that's the natural thing that I do if I lie down on my bed the relaxation happens naturally and my mind does pretty much just slow down and switch off because there's nothing to think about in the same way I know it might sound a bit crude but I'm not thinking about what I'm going to be having for dinner in the evening when I'm sitting on a toilet in the afternoon. It's a different activity. A different activity. So when I'm lying on the bed, I'm just enjoying the feeling of being supported. Because it does, in a way, whether you're sitting in a chair or lying in bed, it is, especially as you feel more relaxed, there's a sense of being like floating in the air. It's a bit like, you know, if you go into a, like a, a fun, uh, I don't know, I don't know what they're called, theme park things. You know, when you go and you got round, not roundabouts, but uh, dodgems and uh, roller coasters and stuff like that. And they've got some of the things that you can sit in and they move around. And it does feel like you're, you're flying almost. In fact, there's nothing like that at all, is it really, when you're sitting down? Not a good example. But, <laughs> it's nice. When you've got your eyes closed, and you're just sitting there, or lying down, where you're actually... It's almost as if you're somewhere else in a way. Because as soon as you close your eyes, once you take away that visual, you could be anywhere. You know, and once your body relaxes and the tension eases, there's, it's a different feeling. 
arises. So I'm doing it now really, I'm just relaxing. And when I make recordings like this, it's quite difficult for me to not actually fall asleep. Now, I'm determined not to fall asleep because I'm making a video of this as well as the audio for the podcast. And if you're watching on the video, there's, you can see the microphone there. So I'm planning to not fall asleep. But the more relaxed I feel, it is quite a, an unusual sensation really when every part of my body is relaxed and I'm not really using any part of my body except my mouth and my tongue and however weird it may sound and it might not seem that weird uh, perhaps when you listen to what I'm saying but my mind isn't really connected to my mouth my, my mind feels as if it's in the distance it's relaxed it's resting so I'm not really sure where the words come from but they don't seem to be coming from my mind I don't want you to literally say well it's your mouth isn't it it's your, it's your vocal cords yeah I know that but the thoughts normally would then lead to words but I have no thoughts really at the moment the only thing I'm noticing is I can I'm noticing the light shining through my eyelids and sometimes I do sit in the chair with the light on but I would probably prefer to have no lights on but then you wouldn't be able to see me on the video which may be a nice thing, I don't know and there's something about being able to to actually enjoy the process of relaxing for it not to be a chore because when I first started to learn to relax I really started intentionally you know putting effort into it studying the subject and you know, all that uh, it was back in 1997 so what, 24 years ago and it's then that I noticed that my stomach was always tense My stomach, my abdominal area, always tense. And it took quite a while for me to learn to relax the muscles in my stomach. Because I'd never done it before. I'd never really put any effort into 
purposefully relaxing. Although there was something that I used to enjoy since I was a child, and that was lying down on the bed, either listening to music or just lying there. But I didn't connect that with relaxation. It was just something that was pleasant and something that I guess I needed to do but didn't know I needed to do it, if that makes sense. Needed, the needs to get away from others, to get away from crowds, and to just almost regenerate. Take that space on my own to relax. to let go of the stress just let it go I mean sometimes you know if you imagine your body being a magnet to stress so the stress is like these little bits of iron or metal, whatever magnifies. I'm not an expert on that stuff. But these little filings of metal that are attracted to the different parts of your body and your mind. Because the stress magnet inside your body is switched on. But when you lay down, when you sit down in a chair and decide to get comfortable, you automatically switch off that magnet, that stress magnet, switched off. So those bits of stress that have been attracted to you, drawn to you, fall off. In fact, there's nothing that they can do except just fall off. Fall to the ground and disappear. And I think sometimes the mind, you know the way sometimes the electricity maybe runs out and there's a generator to take over, uh, especially in places of importance like a hospital. They have generators, so if the, if the national grid goes down, they have generators that will come up. Some hotels have them, uh, places like factories uh, have them, bakeries, big, but you know, it has to be, they need that backup for safety. Because you know, if you're in a factory and there's a thousand people working there and suddenly everything goes dark and there's all these machines and stuff, it's dangerous. There needs to be a backup. Now I get a sense that the mind has a little backup for like a little uh, a backup engine or a backup magnet for stress and tension. I'm not sure why it has that. And it's a smaller one, it's much smaller. But that might be 
why it's sometimes seems perhaps more difficult to let go of thoughts from your mind when you're lying down in bed when actually your whole body feels relaxed and you may not have any tension in your body at all yet your mind still has thoughts that are not necessary at all in this moment so maybe that backup generator magnet that negativity magnet that stress magnet we need to go in and turn that off as well And when you realize that, wow, that's all it was. That's all it was. It was just the backup generator that comes up, autom comes on automatically when the main magnet is switched off. But when you realize that you switched the magnet off, that stress magnet, you have purposely, manually switched that magnet off in your body. Just by thinking and wanting it to turn off, it switches off. Because you're the boss. You're in charge. And when you realize that that backup generator that magnet magnet in your in your brain and your mind that you didn't know was there before now you know it's there you can just decide that it needs to switch off and when you decide that it's time for it to switch off. You can notice that the stress, tension, and all of maybe thoughts, excessive thoughts in your mind just disappear. Almost like a, you know, when you've burnt the toast in the kitchen, and it's, the kitchen's full of smoke, you open the window. And that smoke moves out the window. Leaving the kitchen clear again. I'm not saying that the all those overactive thoughts when we're trying to get to sleep is like burnt toast, but like the burnt toast, those thoughts can just be dropped into the bin. and forgotten because any thoughts or ideas that are important will still be there when you decide to finish your relaxation or when you wake up
You don't need them with you. Just like if you've you just made yourself a sandwich and you realise you need to go to the toilet. You don't take the sandwich into the toilet with you. And sit on the toilet eating your sandwich. Nice cheese and tomato sandwich. Mm, yum yum. No. Two separate things. Not connected in any way. And when you finish dinner in the bathroom, you go back and your sandwich is still where you left it. Just like the, the important thoughts will still be there. When you decide to finish the relaxation or decide to wake up. The idea of the the stress magnet in our body and the The smaller, weaker backup stress magnet in our minds. When they're switched off, you can make adjustments to them. Because you realise that there's settings on those magnets, those tension magnets, those stress magnets can be changed. There's three levels, high, medium and low levels of attraction, attracting the stress. We all need a degree of tension in our bodies and it's natural to have a bit. It means we're human and sometimes it's a good, it's a good way of realizing that possibly changes are needed. So it gives you an opportunity to, for your body to grab your attention you know, and say, well, maybe something needs to change here. But again, that's up to you what level you have. So to start with, you can look inside your body and you can see this magnet, stress magnet, and it may look nothing like what you thought it would look like. You may be surprised at how harmless it looks. And you can notice what level it's already set to. Is it set to low, medium or high? And you can choose to leave it where it is or you can move it to a different level 
So if it's at high, you can move it to medium or low. And that's your choice. And some people may say, well, obviously it's got to go to low. But I'm not here to choose for you. The fact that you take control means that you're aligning yourself with the fact that you are and always have been in control. You will always have been the boss of yourself. You're the king of your castle or the queen of your castle. You are the decider of your own destiny. So you've always been able to choose, always been able to choose what level of stress you're willing to accept. And you can move it down to whatever level you want. And at the moment, the whole thing is switched off. So there is no stress or tension completely turned off and you can choose how you want it to be I'm going to leave you with that idea and allow yourself to drift off to sleep if that's what you choose